Craig, who is asking about solar generators. He wants to be able to run lights, uh, fans, a fridge, maybe an air conditioner. Uh, he needs it to be mobile so that he can take it with him. So he's not at risk of having it stolen when he's not there. Uh, he needs it to be expandable, which is part of what I'm going to cover today. And he needs to be able to charge it with solar. So uh, he initially asked me about the Bluity AC500 with a B300K battery. And that unit does some pretty cool things, but there are some definite pros and cons that come with it. So the pros are that it has a high wattage output from the inverter. It's got a decent solar input availability um, and it's expandable. Those are all great things, but there's some pretty major cons that would make me not recommend this unit. The first is that it's the most expensive of the units that I'm going to show. And I think you can get a much more capable unit for a lot less. Another is that it requires multiple components. So the inverter and batteries are separate and you have to carry them separately, connect them separately. Whereas the other units that I'm going to recommend today have batteries built into them, but can also have batteries, additional batteries connected for expansion. The other issue, two more issues with the Bluity system is that it is reported to just stop working or basically to die. Um, this is this has been reported by multiple uh, well-respected YouTubers in the solar space, and uh, I would not recommend it just based of, off of that. It's also limited to basically the 5,000 watts of output. Because of the way it's constructed, it's very difficult to connect two of these together. And so its output, its AC output is essentially limited to that 5,000 watts of inverter output. So... In place of that, the first unit that I'm going to recommend is the Opus Mega 2. This is a 2,500 watt output, um, which is less than the Bluity, actually about half of the Bluity. But for most of the things that Craig is wanting to run, this should actually run them just fine. And it's got double the watt hour output. So the Bluity has a watt hour output of 2,764, whereas this one, it's a little less than double, but it's uh, 4,096 watt hours of uh, battery life. But the batteries themselves are actually quite inexpensive. They're about $850 for an additional 2,100 watt hours of use. So you can you can put quite a few additional batteries onto this system and still be way under the cost of the Bluity system. The Opus Mega 2 also has a good solar input, which I believe is up to 150 with, uh, I think, 15 amps of input, which should keep you running, especially if you Volts. max out that input from your solar panels. The con really is that you can't uh, increase your voltage uh, or your wattage output from the inverter. So you're pretty much stuck at 2,500 watts from this system, no matter how many batteries you put on it. And personally, I think that's about the only con. And in most cases, 2,500 watts for this type of a setup, like an off-grid cabin like this, will actually run most of what you need to run. All right, my second recommended solar generator is actually going to be the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Um, not only is this highly expandable, it comes with almost double the watt hour output of the Bluity right off the bat. It costs $100 less, and it also can output at 240 volts split phase. So it has all these benefits that the Bluity doesn't. It's also one package and is on wheels, so you can move it quite easily. So I would highly recommend this over the Bluity system. Uh, my only real con with this system is that the in, the solar input is it's bifurcated into two inputs in kind of a weird way with a low voltage input and a high voltage input. And to maximize your solar input, you have to make two arrays. And so that's a little bit convoluted, but otherwise, um, if you're looking for all of the benefits of bl the Bluity system plus additional uh, battery watt hours and additional uh, voltage options, this would be the system you would want to buy. 
Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about using a do-it-yourself system. So Signature Solar has a really great 3000 watt inverter, as well as a really great LifePo 4 battery that you can put together. Some people have even put them together in a hand truck system so they can make them mobile. But the really cool things about the do-it-yourself is not only is it less expensive for more power uh, overall, it is for your purposes here nearly infinitely expandable. If you want another battery, you bolt on another battery. If you want more wattage output, if you want 6,000 watts instead of 3,000 watts of output, you bolt on another inverter. And it's capable of a much higher PV input or solar input. So it's a much better system, but the cons of this really are that it's less mobile and it takes some technical know-how to put it together. That being said, there are full videos on the installation and setup of one of these systems. I've done one as well as other people have done ones where it's the entire setup of the mobile cart system where you can put it on a hand truck and move it mobile pretty much like the EcoFlow system. You may also want to consider getting a generator. I would recommend a small kind of suitcase inverter generator just to be able to top batteries off if you needed to. It's going to be quiet, it's going to be inexpensive, and it's going to be easy to move and efficient. As far as air conditioners, you want to use specifically a very small inverter generator window unit. And I've got a specific one that I like because it doesn't have a high startup amperage and it runs at a fairly low wattage.